My research goal is finding new ways of treating cancers, and to do this, we're trying to better understand the regulation and function of a protein called macro H2A. In each of our cells, we have about two meters of DNA. And for our cells to be able to function, the DNA needs to be packaged very tightly so it doesn't take up too much room. This is done by wrapping DNA around proteins called histones. And so histones wrap the DNA around it and then wrap themselves around each other and condense into the nucleus. So these histones that allow chromatin to be formed by the wrapping of DNA um, can also have different alternatives that can exist. And so one of these alternatives is called macro H2A. And macro H2A is an interesting alternative because it's actually three times larger than what you would consider a regular histone. Because macro H2A has what is the histone fold, which integrates into the DNA and into the chromatin. And then there's a small link apart, followed by this macro domain, which has been highly studied over the last 20 years. So, if we take macro H2A out of cells, what we can see is the nucleus is completely destructured and you lose the circularity of the nucleus as well as the size of the nucleus. And when you look in greater detail, you can actually see darker and lighter spots within the nucleus. And this is actually quite reminiscent of how you would recognize heterochromatin or euchromatin. Heterochromatin being dense and dark and euchromatin being lighter and more open. So when you lose macro H2A, the dense chromatin seems to be more distended and lost. So what we've seen more recently is that when the linker is no longer present in the cells, the changes are a lot more pronounced than if the linker was still there. This points to perhaps the linker being the more important part of the protein which we previously overlooked since it's not typically interesting. Um, so we're wanting to understand better about this linker and this is interesting for three reasons. Number one, we can try and better understand the role of this linker in cancer since we already know that macro H2A has a role in the development and evolution of cancer. Number two, we can then check and see if this is also relevant in leukemia. So we can look in leukemia cells and see if the linker is actually doing something that could be of use to us later. If, and number three, we can show that the linker has some kind of a role in the development of leukemias and cancers, we can actually look for ways to target and modulate the function of that linker. So perhaps by inhibiting or emphasizing the role of the linker, we can help create cures for different types of leukemias and cancer. Together, we're unstoppable.